All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice came in good and clear. Please invite your friends. And uh, uh, today we have a special question. Uh, somebody asked if Muhammad is a true person or not. Now, this question is really complicated, and if I want to speak about it in an academic way, it's going to take a lot, a lot of uh, uh, time. And uh, uh, you will find yourself in a very empty circle. Uh, because really there is no proof anyone can provide that Muhammad was a real person but for me it's better to to let it as if he's real because at the end of the day uh, there is hundreds of millions of people believe in him so you believe he exists or not will not change the fact that there is many people believe in uh, Muhammad uh, you know, Muslims believe in a genie. Did anyone see genie? No. But they believe in the genie. So let us get the genie busted. So in the front of us, you know, I will show you some pictures. And that will explain to you a lot of things about what we are talking about. You see, this is, the, this is Mecca. And this is not long time ago when cameras start to exist. This is, not, this is a real picture. This is not a graphic. And this is the Kaaba, as you see. I'm, I'm just uh, scanning the, the, the picture for you. To see how simple this little town. I mean, this is a uh, hundred year ago picture. So how this Kaaba was a thousand year ago? <laughs> Obviously, it was nothing. So uh, th then the oil came, and the oil mean money, and money mean uh, construction, marble. Uh, even they have uh, now. Uh, uh, like uh, fountains who spray uh, like uh, steam so you feel cooler uh, very nice lighting very expensive you know uh, but this is just like a hundred years ago and if you look at the structures of this uh, those houses which is not long time ago as I said you will notice that there is nothing really I mean it's, it's, a, it's a desert you will not find like uh, special buildings which is can go to thousands of years. Those Arab they have no skills in art. Uh, the only art they have it was poetry. Poetry. The Arab are people of poetry, because their life is very simple. They grow animals. Uh, they don't even do farming. The, uh, was, the one was doing farming there. It was the Jews. So this is why Yathrib in, in the time of Muhammad was a capital of farming and people divide their goods from it uh, because it's, it's the Jews and the Jews. Uh, why they, they have a skills of farming? Because simply they are coming from the land, from the Holy Land, which is a land of farming. So they are farmers who have a very good skills. So wherever they go, the, the land go green. And actually, right until now, if you go to... Uh, uh, as an example, the, the desert, which is uh, the, the Israeli they occupy from Egypt for a long time. Uh, the Israeli took it as a desert in less than 10 years, they turned it to green. You know, so uh, we don't have really historical. Like, who is the historic uh, figure who reported Muhammad as an example? when the first time they start reporting him this is why you see there's many historian today they say muhammad never exist uh, even the coins which have the names of uh, of muhammad was exist long long after muhammad so uh, how to confirm that i mean how to confirm that muhammad was exist i don't think anyone can confirm it however as i said for me i say well he was exist or not that will not change the fact that there is a lot of people believe in him and we have in order to you know to be uh, let us say more realistic uh, we have to go by what people believe and uh, uh, if you are here to expose this cult then focus in the cult regardless if the founder is exist or not as you see you see here how the Kaaba uh, change this is slowly change you know this is when the money start coming from the oil and then after that it became fancy extreme extremely fancy uh, this is the Kaaba as an example uh, as you see here in front of you 
when they start having light, as an example, electricity. They have like a fence as if it's a goat land. And, uh, you know, as you see here, look. You see? Very, uh, I mean, very, very funny the design it is. But this is simply the, the money work, the money which coming from the oil. Otherwise, this is, was a very funny room. And look now, look how different the room, how it was, and how it is today. I mean, we go back and we look in the pictures, we will find a very funny uh, uh, nothing. I mean, there is nothing really. It's like nothing. And then we find that this this uh, this thing became became something totally different. The height is different. This is a, the Kaaba we see today is not the same Kaaba was existing in this picture, by the way. This is a rebuilt Kaaba. This is not the same Kaaba. Just in case you do not know. And actually, you can you can tell in a second. Look, look at this. You see. This is the Kaaba they have today. Actually, this is before. This is an old one, but still, let us say uh, after makeup. So this is what they have today. And this is what they have before. So what happened? You know, where is where is this Kaaba? We don't, and you will find there's little, uh, there is weird columns around it. And I believe maybe those they used to put their idols around the Kaaba maybe. So uh, the Kaaba itself witnessed to nothing. I mean, this building is just a room. There's nothing. And according to Islamic books, if you read my books, you will find that according to Islamic books, the roof wasn't exist. There was no roof. The roof thing is something new. And other cities, they used to come, and like because there is 26 Kaaba, according to the Arabian historian, uh, in the Arabian Peninsula, 26 at least. Uh, so the Kaaba was like a place of, uh, it's a bazaar. People, they bring their product. And if you remember, we showed you from the Islamic reference how Muslims go, and women, sorry, not Muslims, uh, which is the same as the Arab. You know, Islam is just a continuum of the paganism of the Arab. So women and men, they used to go walk totally naked around this house. And the reason for that, because they have a black stone which is presenting uh, 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 the, the, the god of fertility, uh, where it's in, uh, in the shape of a private part of a woman. And women, they go when they have their period. They touch their private part, then they put it inside the black stone. And this is why Muhammad, he said, that the black stone was uh, white like milk, and then the sin of mankind made it black. All right? So, uh, uh, and you know, there is, the, uh, for me, I focus on things which is very important. As an example, the Muslim, they say to us that the Kaaba is the house of Allah, and Allah is the one who built, or let us say, he decided where it's going to be. And even the Muslim, they say to you, if you study the numbers of the location of Mecca, you will find that Mecca located in the center of the earth. How many of you saw that claim before, guys? How many of you saw such a claim before? Did you see it? The Muslims saying that? No. So, did you see this such a claim? My sound is very low. Well, we order a new microphone, and I hope it's going to be here soon. Uh, maybe by uh, by. Uh, not tomorrow, the day after. All right. Just have patience. I ordered. You cannot hear me. Why you cannot hear me? La 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 la. Okay, I will make you wake up. Take a beer. Take a beer. Okay, here we go. Everybody's up. All right. So. <clears throat> But I don't know. I mean, uh, you see, and I have no idea why this is happening. But anyway, I order just a microphone uh, because of your request. You guys keep saying, complain that the sound is not coming good. So we order a microphone, a microphone, and it's not really, it's not a cheap. But what we can do. All right. So anyway, uh, you see, you heard the Muslim before saying that the Kaaba is a choice, or let us say, location of the Kaaba is by Allah. Right? All of us, we heard this before. Then we need to focus on something more important. Who is the build the Kaaba is not really important now. It is how Allah can be a fool and he build it in a place where it's going to be flooded. 
Do you see? This is the Kaaba after the money. The Kaaba is always covered by water. So how this Kaaba, how this Kaaba is the house of Allah. And then this house of Allah, chosen look the location chosen by Allah. And then Allah, he chose it in a place is going to be flooded and then all the sewage of Mecca will come to it. You know what I mean? So they claim that this is the house of Allah where Allah is God and he is the one who chose the location. And uh, okay, imagine you hire an engineer to choose for you the best location in a town to build your house and then you find later that your house will be flooded by poo poo. Uh, this is not really old as you see here the Kaaba is totally different from before right this is not totally old maybe I'm assuming that this is maybe 30 years old something like that all right and the Kaaba is always a flooded and uh, the poo poo and the sewage because in case you do not know in Mecca there is no uh, there's no sewage actually in Mecca there's no sewage so, so what they have they have it in USA they call it septic tank which is a hole you know all the dirt of your house household go inside it uh, and then when the rain come and a lot of rain come all this dirt will float with the water right that's it it's coming out now so this dirt will go to the lowest part of the city and then it is as you see uh, Mecca uh, uh, the Kaaba and if you search right now in, in uh, Google uh, uh, you know, uh, we will find tons of uh, pictures uh, like this about the Kaaba being flooded, you know, very normal. I mean, very normal. Actually, they, you will see some pictures where the, the, the people, they are swimming around the Kaaba, literally swimming, you know. So obviously the one who make this uh, uh, claim that this is a house made by God and this God, he uh, chose the location and la 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 la. This is very easy to prove to be. It's a lie. It's a fiction. It is a fabrication. They, because there is no way God, you know, there is no way God. You don't know. I mean, if you are God, you do not know. Even, you see, even if Allah, he want that location specifically, can't Allah, he left the ground up so his house will not be flooded. You know what I mean? It doesn't make sense. We are talking about God or we are talking about, uh, uh, you know, someone claiming to be God. So if he is God, then the God, he can fix things. He can make things happen. <clears throat> Let us see if we uh, find you. Here we go. You see those? Look at this guy. This guy is... Swimming. Do you see the guy? He's a swimming. Literally, he's a swimming around the Kaaba. And all of this is a dirty water. You see it? So what kind of God he chose such a location? It's very obvious that this is a fabrication. And this house is just built by somebody. And they put some idols around it. And then, you know, there's a competition between the Arab. As I said, they have 26 Kaaba. And by the way, the, the historian who came, who who proved this the 26 Kaaba is a Muslim, not me. Don't don't take my words. I'm not the historian. It's a Muslim historian. Mustafa Al-Aqad is very famous. So uh, uh, he proved that there was 26 Kaaba, and the and the and the Kaaba of Mecca is one of them. And there's competition between the Arab which Kaaba to bring because uh, to bring people to it because this is a business. More people come to this Kaaba, more money will spend there so it's a good bazaar it's like you have a starbucks in the mall why because it's not necessity people they need to sit to drink coffee and they like starbucks so we put starbucks so the kaaba the existence of the kaaba is to make a business happen it's a business nothing nothing more and the business inv involve religion this is why around the kaaba they put everyone bring his own idol he put it next to the kaaba and you walk by you give donation to the idol so the idol the god he will help you all right so you make your own idol you know even the islamic book says 
they used to make idols sometime from palm date you imagine from fruits they just stick it together or from mud or from rocks or from uh, whatever and then people they you know you stand next to what you are they, they, they call you you are the keeper of the god so like this is an idol like let's say you are the one who keep it but the fact you own it you know it's your toy and people walk by and they give you donation so this is exactly what the kaaba is all right Uh, what will happen to the Muslims, the Kaaba? They will lose their for, uh, uh, faith. Actually, faith. Uh, uh, if, uh, if the Muslim today they have knowledge, they will they will leave Islam right away, because maybe you do not know that the Kaaba already destroyed many times. Maybe many Muslims will say like, "What? What are you talking about? The Kaaba destroyed many times." Not only that, one of those times, Al Qurmuti, he destroyed the Kaaba, and he was screaming in the middle of the Kaaba after he took the black stone. He was screaming, saying to Allah, where are you, Allah? Here we go. Because there's a chapter in the Quran, it says, chapter the elephant, uh, uh, that Allah, he sent an army to protect the Kaaba from uh, the army of the elephants. So Al-Qurmuti, who is a Muslim, obviously he's an ex-Muslim, he proved to Muslims at that time that this is nothing but a fraud. He destroyed the Kaaba, he took the black stone, he kept it, kept it there for more than 21 years, and the Muslims, in order to have it back, they have to bribe him. You know, as simple as that. And if there is any Muslim who say I'm not, I'm lying, you can just search that. And actually, there's videos on YouTube made by Muslim sheikhs about it, speaking about how this guy was standing in the middle of the Kaaba saying, "Allah, where is your birds? Huh? Where is your birds? Huh? Where is your birds? Here we go. The Kaaba I destroyed. The black stone I took it, and the Muslims I killed them. He killed the Muslims there. He killed not only he took the Kaaba, he killed all the Muslims around that the Muslim they tried to defend. He killed them all. So he was saying, where are you? Screaming in the middle of the Kaaba. Of the, in the middle of the, let us say, of the dust of the Kaaba. The Kaaba was totally demolished. And there's many, many Islamic leaders actually that demolished the Kaaba. One of, there, is, there is a video on YouTube about burning the Kaaba and the, the, the Kaaba collapse. This is a different story. So the Kaaba was demolished many times and those elephants or those, sorry, those birds of Allah never appear. It's just another fiction story. Nobody can prove it except if you believe in stupidity, you are stupid. Right? Uh, evening, it's uh, I know that's it. Well, you know, uh, uh, there is things today we can prove it's false. As you see, like now here, if this is the house is built by God, regardless who built it, regardless who, who is the one who made the choice, if this house is built by God. This God is, an, is a potato. He's an idiot. He chose a wrong place. How simple I need to make it more than this. There is no way God will do such a thing. This is his house. This is his holy house. This is not the house of the neighbor. This is not a Starbucks. This is his holy house, supposedly. And the Muslim, they claim it is the center of the earth. So the second you see this flood, it's the same second you should lose your faith Look at this dirty water. Do you see the water? Guys, do you see the do you see how disgusting the water is? You can tell it's full of poo poo. Do you see it? <clears throat> uh, we have somebody saying what? Somebody want to call me and expose me? My friend, no problem. You, you are welcome to expose me all the time. Yeah. Talk is cheap. So as you see here, uh, very filthy water. At least Allah, okay, Allah, he could not stop the flood. Couldn't he stop the poo-poo? Couldn't he filter like the poopoo go there and the, the clean water go to, to, to the Kaaba? So how this is can be the, the house of God? So you see how simple it is? I mean, you do not need to debate. You do not need to make an argument. It's very simple. Look at this. Thank God there's a camera because now after the, you know, the American engineering, they send the big engineering companies and, you know, to find solutions. And finally, they come with a solution, but still, it's not guaranteed. <clears throat> so, thank God we have cameras. 
So if not America, the Kaaba will be flooded by now by the Pupu. So this is why I say, how you know it's Pupu? Because the, the, the Pupu of the people will come. You see why people are not listening? When a flood happened, those people, did, there's no sewage in Mecca. There's no sewage. They have a Pupu hole. Pupu hole. So when a flood happened, what happened? Everything will flood in the water, right? When the water raised, use your brain. I mean, you don't need to be a genius. All the dirt exists in that location will flood. And poopoo is is not heavy. <laughs> it's a poopoo. So, uh, how this is can be from God, right? <clears throat> how this is can be from God? Let me see. Somebody saying he wanna call me. Let me uh, take a look. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Well, I don't see anyone calling. Yeah, there's nobody calling. That's a lie. Okay, I will exit Skype then. Anyway, and you see, uh, uh, people, they can argue about things, but they, there's things you cannot prove. Here we have a proof. We have a proof. Take is a cheap monologue in. Is not the garbage. Call me. Ahmad Rafi. All right. Well, my friend, the one who do monologue is the Muslims. You know, we challenge them to debate us. We call them, they mute us. And they don't let us uh, talk. They ask the question and then they are the one who answer it. It's you who do that. We are here almost every day, and none of you Muslims dare to call. Now, which one? There is many Ahmad Yusuf. Which one? Ahmad Rafi. Which one? Give me your ID, my friend, correctly. You see, there is many. Let me show you how many Ahmad Rafi here. More than you can imagine. Which one is you? There's like hundreds. I don't know, thousands. How I will know which one is you? Give me the correct ID. Let us see if you are honest. If you click at your profile, you will see your correct ID. Don't give me just give me just a name. There's millions. They have your name. Right. And you know it's funny when the Muslim he say talk is cheap. Yes, talk is cheap. You Muslim, you claim everything belongs to Allah. Talk is cheap. Prove it. Jesus, he make a miracle. You say Allah gave him the power. Prove it. Talk is cheap. Right? Where is your ID, Mr. Uh, Ahmed? I'm waiting for it. Are you there, Mr. Ahmed? Where is your ID, my friend? Are you looking for it in the flood? Did you lose your, your ID in the flood? Is it a flood in between this pupu? I hope not. Right? Yeah, if you are really an honest, you want to call me, you will give me an ID I can find, not something impossible. So, it's very easy to prove that Islam is a cult. And then, you know, uh, you will find the Muslim coming to you with different stories. As an example, uh, this is supposedly the house of Muhammad. This is supposedly the house of Muhammad. Okay. Muslims, how do you prove that this is the house of Muhammad? How do you prove that this is the house of Muhammad? Uh, no. The guy who is posting an email is are you a Muslim, my friend? The one who is posting an email, are you are you a Muslim? Well, I search your name in Skype, I cannot find it. You are giving me false ID.
false people here we go i search your name nothing come not even a single name liars so how you muslims you know that this is the uh, the room of muhammad any muslim can tell us this is the house of muhammad any muslim how we know that this is the house of muhammad <laughs> not only that the funny they say this is the house of muhammad and then the the authority in saudi arabia they destroy the house so how this can be the house of muhammad simply because it's not This is this place does not exist no more. Hmm? It's not exist. If this is the house of Muhammad, why the Muslim will destroy it? Right? Muslims, they have tons of fiction stories. As an example, do you know that the, uh, Muhammad, uh, this is the footprint of Prophet Adam. What? Yes, brother. This is the footprint of Prophet Adam. Okay, where this is? I see a, a Buddha guy here. A Buddha monk. Yeah, yeah, this is in Sri Lanka. Yeah, another fiction story. Allah, he sent Adam and he landed in Sri Lanka. I was there. I drank tea with uh, Prophet Adam. And I spoke to him. He, you know, he's an Arab. He speaks Arabic like me. Isn't it your Prophet? He says when Allah, he created Adam. Adam, he sneezed. And Allah, he says to Adam, Yirhamakum Allah. Both they speak Arabic. Allah, he speak Arabic. Adam, he speak Arabic. And this is the footprint of, uh, of Adam. Do you see how big his footprint? Islam, tons of stories and fictions and stupidity, garbage in, garbage out. If I search right now that the, the grave of a prophet Adam, what you will see, hold on, let me show you. You will not believe it. I mean, the, their madness is beyond imagination. I will show you right now the grave of a prophet Adam. Are you ready, brother? Brother, are you ready, brother? <laughs> this is the prophet Adam, a grave. A brother, why is so long, brother? Uh, because the prophet, he says he was so, so tall. Do you see how tall Adam was, a brother? I mean, how this guy can walk if he is tall like this? He will be thin like that? That is hilarious. He is so tall like this, but he is thin like that? You cannot walk with this height, with, with this thin. You will be like a snake. And look, look what it says underneath. Look. Where is the grave of Hazrat Adam? Hazrat Adam, may Allah hazard you too. What Hazrat Adam? This is the grave of the Nabi Imran. Who is Imran? Who remember who is Imran? Imran is the father of Mary. Do you see how tall he was? And Muslims, they go kiss it. They cry on it. They ask Allah for forgiveness, and you know, this is the grave. This is, how how tall Mary was. If the if this is her father grave, I don't know. It says there Nabi Imran Nabi. I'm not sure what. This is Nabi, this is another a grave, a prophet, his name is Yeshua. 
Ja, ja, Joshu, Josh, Josh. I know who's this Josh, Josh. Ah. This is the grave of uh, the children of Adam. One of them, Habil. Islamic landmark. This is the grave of the children of Adam. One of the children of Adam, Habil. Abel and Cain. Cain and Abel, right? Here we go. Who want to visit it? Take selfie. Take selfie. Take the selfie before they take it off. Madness. So when you ask him about historic, I laugh. What historic? Don't you see this uh, this uh, garbage religion we are talking about? This madness. This is uh, what is that? If you open it, maybe you will find the jack window where is recorded the snake. I mean, we're, we're, uh, nobody open the grave to see who is there. If we can find really a human being in that height, that would be an amazing discovery. That means Islam is true. Look at the end of the grave. You can't even see the like, and the guy is a praying like Allah, Alhamdulillah, Allah, 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 Allah. And you are asking me to give you if uh, if Muhammad is exist. Look at this. This is the biggest scam ever. It's called Islam. Nobody can challenge the Islamic scam because they are they, they will beat everybody. Look how how big this grave. And by the way, you will notice that the same name have many graves. Like this is the prophet Adam, but this is a different grave. Like what happened? Is that the same person? The same place? I'm not sure. Uh, this is the grave of a, a prophet Jacob. Here we go. He's getting shorter. Look, he's now like maybe 13 meters tall only. This is a prophet Jacob. Prophet Jacob? Where? In Pakistan? Did he immigrate there? Oh boy. And this guy, look, he's praying like, Allah, Akbar, Allah, Akbar, Allah, man. You know, he's saying to him, Allah, he please give me more wives. The ones they are, I have, they are giving me a hard time, and one of them, her battery is expired after five minutes from using it. What is this? This is God, this is religion. What is this? And yet this, and they say to you that the Bible, there's no proof of the Bible. The Bible written 60 years after Jesus. Look at this. Muhammad, he says that Adam was tall. How tall Adam? Let us see how tall. Hold on. We go to Prophet Muhammad. He is the best. He is the best historian ever. He knew everything. He knew about the first man, the last man. He knew everything. <clears throat> All right. Let us see how, how tall he is. How tall how? Guys, do you see how tall? He is a 60 span tall. Actually, it's a 60 arms. 60 arms tall. Here it says 30 meters. How 60, uh, 60, uh, 60 arms became 30 meters? Is that correct? I think there's a mistake here. 60 cubit here they're saying. What happened to Adam? Adam was tall. He, in them he was shrink. Imran, he was tall. He shrank. Imran is not long time ago, 2,000 years ago. Supposedly, according to Muhammad, the father of Mary. So, if you ask about evidence, Islam is the most silly, stupid cult. Say things and nobody dare to question. Who dare to question Muhammad? How Adam? Why? What, what is the proof that Adam was so tall? And what happened to us? Is that the effect of a global warming or because of the global warming of the lies of Muhammad? You know what I mean? Is that a global warming thing? 
the guy he was 60 arm tall and then he shrank and then we sh and what happened why only why i am now only like uh, 25 meter i'm really upset only 25 meter i am five meters less than adam now i'm really upset so what if i walk now next to adam i will look at him up like he's five meter uh, uh, higher than me like the two floor this is not even fair what is this so when we question uh, uh, history because this is history muhammad is speaking about that right ahmed rafai tara tur turabi okay let me search again ahmed rafai turabi this time if we don't find him i will don't mention his name again all right we found the guy his name ahmed turabi rafai answer me mr ahmed i gave you <coughs> Uh, I gave you hello. Let us call him. <laughs> hello, Ahmed Rafai. Mute YouTube, please. Mute YouTube. Hello. Yes, go ahead. You are live on air. What do you like to say? What? That uh, Mary, Mary slept. Mary slept with Jesus. You said it. I said that? Yes. When I said that? Her video of you sleeping. What? Her video. Get lost, stupid donkey. Garbage in, garbage out. First, you are not brave even to speak with your voice. You are changing your voice. Secondly, stop using the internet of the neighbor. Number three, how in the world is a Christian will say that Jesus slept with Mary, you idiot? Stupid idiot, cheap, low-class people. We thought you are a fart, it turned to be a diarrhea. Excuse my language. Now, so why Muslims don't question Muhammad saying that Adam was 30 meters? It is a proof that he was 30 meters. Or 60 meters no who, who dared the question right terror but in the time of Muhammad Arab they question and they laugh at him this is why if we go in the Quran we will find the Arab they were laughing at Muhammad actually when Muhammad he went to the Taif they spanked him hard to the point he could not go back to his wives and not only that he told those who he spanked them he, they spank him don't tell please what happened to me here don't tell them he stayed few weeks away from Mecca from from uh, uh, from his house uh, because he don't want anyone to know what happened to him uh, but this is what the Arab they were saying to Muhammad they told him that you are crazy you are stupid and they told him this is nothing but the fairy tales of the ancients you see it this is nothing but the tales of the ancients so the Arab in the time of Muhammad they were laughing at him the Muslim they will say to you the Arab, they were amazed with the Quran. How amazing the Quran. The Arab, they were laughing at the Quran. It's in front of you. There is tons of verses. They say to him, <laughs> we, if we want to talk like this, we can make like this. The Arab, you know, the Muslim, they say to you, Muhammad, he challenged them to make Quran like this. Look what the Arab, they say to him, this is stupid. We have heard this before. We have heard this before. From where? How they heard this before? Because Muhammad is repeating stupid stories they heard before from others, ancient. And he's, they said to him, these are nothing but the tales of the ancient. They were laughing at him. Right?
Do you see it? So I don't really focus if Muhammad really was exist or not. What I focus in the stupidity. The, the 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 what we can prove that there is a guy is a stupid saying this and this is what i can prove to you like when muhammad he say that allah he sent the angel of death to prophet moses and he wanted to take his life he's the angel of death what moses did he played karate with him and he took his eye off According to Muslims, this is a very authentic story. Authentic, not a joke. You see, this is Sahih Muslim and you go Sahih Bukhari. All of this is very authentic, which means it says, according to Muslim, it's said by a guy who was exist and he is a prophet and his name is Muhammad. Okay, what the prophet who said that saying? That Allah, he sent an angel of death to take the life of Moses, as you see. The angel went back. Uh, 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 to Allah and he said to him you send me to a slave who does not want to die Allah restored his eye what what do you mean because he hit the angel of, of death and he took his eye out Musa's he slapped him severely <laughs> guys I, I look like I'm going to live for long if the angel of death come to Christian Prince, Christian Prince, he play karate. And the angel like, <laughs> I'm, going to, I'm going to tell Allah about what you did to me. And then Allah, the angel will go to Allah and Allah, he put his eye back in its place. So, can I confirm to you that Muhammad was exist? No, but I can confirm to you that whoever said this story is a donkey. The Muslim, they say this is their prophet. None of my business. But for me, this is a story is not even for kids. I mean, you have to be a person who lost his mind to believe in such a madness. This is a guy who claimed that he is sent by God, speaking in the name of God, teaching about God, telling us those stories. And you know, you, and then like if you are, imagine yourself 1400 years ago and listening to a guy who said that, your mouth will be open like a, like a jar. Like what? Like, like Muhammad uh, Mimi Hijab in the video. He opened his mouth like, you know, they love to make theater. Open your mouth more, it's like a garage. Don't you know that the prophet, he said that if you open your mouth like this, shaitan, we will jump inside your mouth, you idiot. How Muhammad, he knew this. Shaitan, he pee in your ears. I mean, Muhammad, he have a special career. Shaitan, he piss in your ears. It makes sense. It looked like a toilet seat. I mean, come on, we have to be serious now. The prophet is very much observing the look of the ears and Allah is telling him the truth. Shaitan, he pee in your ears. Isn't it obvious? <clears throat> right? Don't you see it? Allah, he like those who do sneeze. Allah, he hate those who do yanin. This is history now. You see, you're asking me about history. Here we go. This is history. It's reported by historian that God of Islam, he likes sneezing. This is history. Allah Messenger said, by the way, this is not, uh, don't tell me this is weak. This is Al-Bukhari, see? I can show it to you from all kind of reference. Allah Messenger said, not Christian Prince, so don't blame me for the stupidity, please. Allah loves those who do sneezing. Any one of you have a cold? Call me. Let us sneeze for the sake of Allah. You sneeze, Allah happy. <coughs> so we have a God. His name is Allah. And this is history, by the way. Reported by Prophet Muhammad himself. He likes sneezing. He loves sneezing. Not only he likes it. No, no. There's a difference between love and like. Take a note, please. He love it. Like you sneeze, Allah like die from me. Like ha 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 
That's true. This is like this is exactly what happened to a baby. If you sneeze in front of a baby, the baby will die laughing. What? This is your God? Your God, Allah, He loves sneezing. Achoo. Allah, no, he's so excited. Like all his feet and his hands are shaking. Like, hey, oh, yes, yes, finally he sneezes. I love it. And then what? If you want Allah to be upset, do yani. But he dislikes yani. But you know, I mean, this guy is what? Yani is a, is a signal from your body. You know, your body gives you signals for, for, for things you need to do. They give you a signal to go to the bathroom, give you a signal to sleep, give you a signal to wake up. This is body act, you know? This is very natural. This is very healthy, actually. So what do you mean Allah dislikes sneezing? Why, yani why he dislikes it? Here we go, science. So if any of you sneeze and then praises Allah, every Muslim who hears him praising Allah has to say, Tashmit to him. Okay? But as regard yanin, it is from shaitan. If, 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 if. Now, Yanni, I'm so glad he did not say from the Jews. I'm actually surprised he did not blame the Jews for it. Like what happened? He forgot about the Jews at that day? Wait, what Farid? What is this Farid? This is the same kid, guys. <clears throat> this is the same kid. He's trying to disturb us. Just forget about it, those kids. So, but as regard yawning, it is from shaitan. And look what Muhammad says. So if any of you yawn, he should try to his best to stop it. Stop it. For when any of you yawn, Satan laugh at him. <laughs> Unbelievable. He is yawning. <laughs> look at this joke. You sneeze, Allah laugh. You yawn, shaitan laugh. Look like. A human being is the joker for both of them. It doesn't matter what you do, somebody is laughing at you. You laugh, you, you yawn, shaitan laughing at you, you, uh, you sneeze, Allah happy, and he'll love you, and he'll love it. But stupidity, but who dare to question? Do you want to question you about Paul? I mean, look, 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 look at the stupidity. Okay, Paul, which year Paul was exist? Uh, some uh, they say Paul exists 30 years after Jesus. Um, uh, some they say he was uh, in the time of Jesus, but he never met Jesus. Okay, but they don't question this stupidity. We have thousands of evidence, historian evidence about Jesus and what happened to Jesus, but who have any evidence of this garbage? Actually, I'm going to open a sneezing club. I will open one in Las Vegas. It's called the Sneeze Me Baby. And what people they do, they go inside the club and they get their membership right in the door. For sure you have to pay, not for free. And then we sneeze and Allah is happy. And you can do gambling during the sneezing too. How this is can God. All right, I hope now I'm coming good. Let us see now if they can flood. You know, you see they call me in Skype. You see the cowards? They call me in Skype just to find the, the IP I'm using right now. You know, I just switched IP. Try to stop my connection now. Let us see. You see how coward they are? Am I heard? <coughs> Am I heard? Give me one if you hear me, please. Yeah, go ahead, uh, flood the IP gate. Here we go, we change it. Let us see how good you are. They call you in Skype in order to see what your IP is so they can flood the broadcast. It's a fake IP I use anyway, uh, and I can change it, it's not a big deal. And here we go. Now, in order to, to do that again, they have to call me again to Skype so they can find out the IP, the new IP. <laughs> they cannot answer you they cannot debate you they come with the stupid ch children tricks I mean this is the best you can 
OK, here we go. I'm going to trick you now. I want you to flood my IP. Go ahead. Let us see how good you are. It's a challenge for every potato in the universe. I don't know from 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 my side it's working. I don't know why you cannot you cannot hear me. Uh, from my side the streaming is coming fine, so I'm not sure. I don't know. Maybe now you will hear me. No sound. Yeah, uh, you know I was changing the IP because they are you know they are playing games. So I flipped.